All right, come on in, hit the like button. Think about subscribing if you're already. If you're new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is my personal opinion slash review for the 2022 action comedy film called The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent, starring Nick Cage and Pedro Pascal. Now here's the plot. Facing financial ruin, actor Nick Cage accepts a $1 million offer to attend a wealthy fan's birthday party. Things take a wild, unexpected turn when a CIA operative recruits Cage for an unusual mission. Now here's some of the cast. I can see why Pedro Pascal agreed to do this film. I can also see him being a real Nick Cage fan, just based on his acting choices in films, including this one, and shows. I've seen him out, other than seeing him outside of the serious roles he does, which he does very well. Nick Cage was pretty funny alongside pa Pedro Pascal. Both really flowed with each other's acting skills and uh, characters other, uh, throughout the film. The whole film was pretty funny. Not out loud, laugh your ass off, but funny is still funny. Uh, you know, it, it was pretty good. It was really, really funny. It wasn't like, you know, eh, that's okay here and there. But it was good. It was good. It was good. Especially the scene with the, uh, when they took the LSD, aka acid. Uh, that was pretty funny. And it's also a meme all over the internet for a while. So it still kind of is. It's kind of coming back a little bit. But it was like a big thing when this came out. It was a huge, great, it was a great fun story. It honestly reminded me of the old with days of Nick Cage with the big blockbuster uh, films. 97% of comedy with a final action segment. I will say the, the CGI, a CGI, CIA agent, uh, uh, I pretty much didn't care for. It felt like they was just throwing throw it in into the mix of the story without really having their story background in order to care for their characters. I also didn't think they were funny uh, that much. Uh, barely at all, to be honest. Uh, I've seen the actor somewhere. I know the actor. I've seen him. He's a comedian uh, kind of person. I think he was in that uh, Bridesmaids film. I don't know. I don't know if he was. But they're just, they're technical, technically the comedian actors that I'm not really a fan of uh, in general. So it's just, it was, and again, they, their story, their story behind their characters wasn't really there for me to care for them. So, you know. Uh, but here's my reading. I'll come back to my final thoughts. Yes, I love this film so much more than I thought I would. That's why it took me this long to get to it. We honestly need more of these from Nick Cage and especially want to see Nick Cage and Pedro Pascal in a sequel for this or at least another film. I don't necessarily think we technically need a sequel because they didn't really leave you on any cliffhangers or anything but i think it would be fun if they didn't hold another film together uh whether it be a sequel or you know just another film in general i think they wor worked really good with each other again went off and off of each other so uh yeah um but what did you guys think let me know in the comments below um, so that's all I got for you. I don't know if I'm going to have something out tomorrow. I'm wanting to, but kind of things are going behind the scenes. So we'll see. We'll see. I'll let you know in the community section. But in the meantime, remember, I love you all. Spread the love. Most importantly, Skull.